Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sophie Labors Yoga. Thank you for joining me for this wind down yoga session. This is the perfect way to relax at the end of a busy day. When you're ready, we'll start here in a comfortable cross-legged seated position on the mat. So just get comfortable here. And then when you're ready, close off the eyes, let the world fade away and just bring the gaze into the body. Just take some time here to breathe, come present and relax. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, just letting the energy flow through the body. And then when you're ready, open the eyes and let's just drop the ear towards the shoulder, feeling the tension just melt away down through the neck the arm and out the fingers. And then turn the gaze towards the mat, drop the chin in towards the chest and you'll feel a little more of a stretch through the back of the neck. And then come back through center. Let's take the other side, dropping the ear towards the shoulder, maybe rolling this shoulder back slightly so it's open and you can feel any tension just really cascading down through the neck and the shoulder and out through the fingertips. Whatever kind of day you've had, this is your chance just to let it go and then bring a little more energy back for yourself to feel good and then turn the gaze towards the mat tuck the chin in towards the chest find a gentle stretch in the back of the neck stay with the breath throughout the whole practice nice slow steady breaths Come back through center, link the fingertips, uh, link the fingers, press them away, round through the back of the body. And then link the fingers behind you, open through the chest and lift the gaze a little higher. It's a really good one if you've been sitting down at a desk today. Let's take that two more times, pressing forward. and coming open. Last time, forward. See if you're finding a little more mobility through the body now. And open. Then bring the hands down, reach the other arm high. Find your side stretch. Stay here, or if it's for you, cactus the arm, and then you might like to just tilt the head away from the arm for a little more stretch through the neck. you've had a busy day or a stressful day, this is a lovely way just to relax and wind down, ready for sleep. Pressing up, hand comes down, let's take the other side, stretching over. Staying here, if you'd like to cactus the arm and maybe tilt the head away from it. Circle the arm around. Coming back to center, and then we're going to turn into our sleeping swan. Bring the front foot in. You might like to bring it a little more in towards you today. Roll this top hip over, lift nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, fold on forward. Bringing the gaze into the body. Deep breaths. Just enjoying this gentle stretch.
feeling the energy flow right into the body, right down to the toes. Full body breaths. Then from there, walk the hands back up. Bring this leg around. Let's come to um, a modified half lotus. So foot on top of the thigh or on top of the calf. I'll turn to face you sitting nice and tall. Let's just take a twist. Left arm comes over, turning towards the right. Really find that length through the spine. And then let's bring in a side stretch. Keep the twist while you bend over sideways. Let's take that once again, finding the twist, eye gaze over the right shoulder. Lift the arm, fingertips carve a semicircle through the sky and then side bend. Coming up, let's take the other side. Sleeping swan, bending the right leg in, turning the hips, lifting and then folding. Feeling grounded, feeling supported by the earth. No need to force anything. This time is just for you. Walking the hands back up and we'll come to that modified half lotus. Bringing this back leg over, flexing the foot, either placing it on the thigh or on the calf. Sit bones anchoring you to the mat. Let's bring in the twist. Gaze is over the left shoulder. And then reach the arm. Let's bring in the side bend. Stretching over from the fingertips, anchoring yourself through the sits bones. Let's take that once again. Feeling the energy travel up the spine on the inhale and down the spine on the exhale. Lifting the arm, finding your side bend. Lifting up, let's come to caterpillar pose. Stretching both legs out in front of you. Keep this lovely and relaxed. So the feet are about hip width apart. Find length through the spine, and then what I want you to do is just to gently round through the back of the body, walk the hands forward, allow your back to round, drop the head in, and feel a stretch a little bit through the hamstrings, but also through the lower back. And while you can feel a gentle stretch here, let's not push too much. This is time to wind down. Just to find a little more length and energy. Let the energy flow through the body, but not force anything. One more breath there. Walking the hands back up and then rolling straight down onto the mat. And here, just draw the knees in towards you. Let's just gently take some ankle circles, circling them around one way, giving our feet a little bit of love. They carry us around all day, but we often don't spend a lot of time giving the love back to them. Circling back the other way.
and then just pointing and flexing the feet, really articulating through the joints. And then from there, dropping the left leg down, you can either keep the foot flat on the mat or extend it long. Draw the right knee in, just hug it in towards you. No tension through the shoulders or through the chest. I find myself that it often creeps up there. And then let's take the right knee wide just for a little bit of a stretch through the inner thigh. So the knees just dropping out. And then let's come into a twist, taking the right knee across the body. You can bend the underneath leg if you like or keep it straight. Open the right arm, turn the head and just enjoy that twist. And then nice and gently coming back through center, swapping sides. Left leg comes out up, right leg comes along. Draw the knee in towards you. Just massaging in that hip socket. Then we'll take the knee wide, dropping it out, feeling a stretch through the inner thigh. And then taking our twist, knee comes across the body, bending the underneath leg if that's more comfortable. Otherwise, just extending the arm out, turn the head if it feels good and find that beautiful twist through the spine. And then when you're ready, coming back to the center, let's take happy baby. Arms behind the knees, take the lower legs or maybe peace fingers to the big toes, draw the knees down. Keep this lovely and relaxed, just a gentle rock side to side, massaging the lower back on the mat. Just enjoying this lovely, calm energy. And then let's take a moment in Shavasana. Stretching the legs long, feet about hip width apart, toes are dropping outwards. Resting the hands just outside of the mat, finding enough space for the lungs to really breathe. And I invite you today to bring your awareness to your heart space, to the center of your chest. And just to focus your energy there, as you inhale, the rib cage expands, the lungs fill with air. And then as you exhale, and the heart space softens down. Just a few more breaths there in your own time. And then when you're ready, just start to draw the knees in towards you or find a little movement, whatever calls you. And then nice and slowly, nice and calmly and gently, pressing yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position on the mat with the eyes closed still. 
feeling grounded and supported by the earth. Hands just resting lightly on the thighs. We've got that beautiful openness through the heart and then length through the spine from the tailbone through each vertebra and up to the back of the neck, then pressing up through the crown of the head. When you're ready, bring your hands to prayer at heart center and open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this wind down yoga session. I hope you're feeling calm and content. I will see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Remember to subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment and please share it with your friends so we can continue to spread the positive energy through yoga.